The first year of tourism management um, is a foundational year for sure, to give you better information about what tourism actually is, because it's a very broad concept. So yeah, yeah, we did projects in the first year. I wouldn't say I have a favorite subject, but more I love learning new languages, and so uh, a new uh, modern foreign language uh, is really amazing to learn. The options are French, Spanish and German. The reason why? Want ik ook van verschillende culturen en talen en dat ja dat is gewoon fantastisch. Elab, so that is more a practical um, subject I would say in terms of social media. You have really long workshops, but it's really fun. Uh, we had to make videos in Breda about certain spots, and then you also create a website. You put the website web videos in the website, and you. At the end, you come up with uh, a mobile app based on the research you did, create the website, and then kind of have to sell radar to the tourist. Other courses in the first year were online marketing communication, and then we had research methods. So generally you start with uh, self-study, and that's preparing the material before you have the first lecture of the module. And then you have the first lecture, ask questions, and questions can be answered. And then you have a workshop where you work with either individual uh, uh, project or assignment or in a group where you work on it. Um, and then once you've finished the project afterwards, then you're done. And then you prepare again for the next day, the material, or the next week, I should say. Self-study, lecture, workshop, um, and then a project. So um, the new curriculum in year two will not be a specialization curriculum anymore, but more of a, a, a broader curriculum built off of year one where the three specializations of tourism destination, recreation, hospitality and travel industry will be combined to also give you, the students, more information about the other uh, specializations uh, for subjects such as uh, travel transportation, travel geopolitics and travel industry producers in the travel, indus travel industry uh, specialization, which will now become more broad of course and modules such as pricing and capacity, touch points, setting and processes in the recreation and hospitality uh, um, theme, let's say. And so then you will not only have one specialization modules, but you will be able to experience all of them and get a better, more overall picture of uh, what it is. And then in year three, of course, you can specialize and see where you would like to go in your future. So courses in the second year, Let's see, you continue, of course, with your modern foreign language, but uh, maybe I can give one good example of last block. We had a course, uh, Tourism Destinations, uh, Destination Image and Identity, and that basically is you do research um, about a, a destination. It could be a city, uh, a theme park can also be classified as a destination, or uh, it can also be a, a whole country. Um, and then you do research on, from the perspective of uh, the tourists, so how they view the destination, um, and you do a deep dive into, into that. And then you also do research on the perspective of the local of that destination, so the inhabitants, people who live there, and how they view that destination. And then you compare the two to see what's overlapping and what's different, and to get the different perspectives. And then that uh, useful information is then used for the local DMO destination marketing organization of that destination um, uh, to better promote that activity. So yeah, another subject which uh, we're doing uh, this year is uh, online consumer behavior. And with this, in this subject you work again with uh, a real life company, so you get a uh, festival, music festival, and this is very much focused on social media, how they can use social media to better promote their festival. And uh, how, we do, how that is done is we do research based on a specific persona and which we can pick and that's based on the target group of Tziget. What kind of social media do they use? So Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, LinkedIn, they use that in their customer journeys. Um, and then what do they use? How do they book it? And then the after sale, what happens afterwards, the reviews and stuff. So we do all that information, uh, research of information, and then we have to come up with a good document and a recommendation to Tziget. So in year three, um, where you will choose your future that you would like to specialize in. The options that you can pick from uh, are either e-tourism, tourism design and development, tourism business or tourist experience. And based of course off of the general tracks that you had in year one and year two, this will become more clear to you in after year two where you have to make your decision 
and I chose for tourism design and development. The reason why I chose it is because it is um, also related to the tourist experience in a sense but less commercialized, so it's more focused from a helicopter point of view, an umbrella point of view, which focuses on the destinations more, so how can destinations better be regulated, managed, um, for, uh, for, for tourists to have the best experience while keeping the locals happy. So, so the fourth year is uh, the last year, of course, and uh, that's one or two ways, two ways I would say you can go about it. And the one is in the third year you do your internship, and that's practical experience, and in the fourth year you can also do an internship, a placement, um, but that's more related to your thesis. So you can do a thesis placement where you get an assignment from a company and then that's for six months and in the last six months you, do, you work on your thesis of course, you, you see it through. Or you can go the route of picking a minor and then that is where you can pick some subject that you might not have or that you might not have um, picked in the third year in the specialization but you're quite interested in it so you can still catch up on that in the fourth year and learn something else. Um, and then uh, pick your thesis on your own, let's say if, apart from a company, if you don't want to do it in a company and you want to do it more on your own, that's also possible. And then if all goes well, you graduate and you're done. <laughs>